Every now and then you might run into a recipe that requires raw eggs. A good example to this may be at Christmas time when you want to make eggnog. Well, that's what I'm running into right now. I need to have some raw eggs that are pasteurized and I have 24 eggs here for my chickens and I have a bunch of chickens that run around my acre property and it's time to pasteurize some of them. Uh, the FDA basically has estimated that one in 20,000 eggs could contain salmonella. And the last thing you want to do is end up giving someone salmonella and that would not be good for anybody. So this unit right here is called a sous vide. Sous vide is basically French for under vacuum. And if you've not had a steak that's been cooked sous vide, well, you're missing something. But we're not doing steak, we are doing eggs, and we're not placing anything under a vacuum. The nice thing about these heating units they are very accurate. They will heat water and keep water at a very precise degree. And so we're going to go ahead and use this uh, sous vide heating unit. And uh, the whole unit here you can buy all together or you can just buy these units separately and they're not too expensive. But one thing you got to also remember, these eggs just came out of my refrigerator. So as soon as we put them into this water, it's going to cool it down quite a bit. Once the eggs and the water come up to 130 degrees, we need to hold that for 45 minutes. And after that, our eggs in the shell will be pasteurized and we can go ahead and do my recipe. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna go ahead and pump this up to 130 degrees, then set the timer for Forty five minutes and press start. One thing you may notice about my eggs, all my eggs are down here on the bottom. Now take a look at this egg. If I put this egg right here, you'll notice that this egg here is floating. Well, eggs are permeable, which means to say that this egg can kind of breathe oxygen if that makes sense which means oxygen can transfer through the eggshell and so the older an egg is the more oxygen can pass through this eggshell and actually go inside the egg and so an egg that floats is not as fresh as an egg that can sink to the bottom so i'm not saying that this egg is bad but this egg is not as fresh as the eggs down here and so because this egg does have some extra oxygen in here and it's floating around in my water here, there is a slight, slight chance that this, this egg, I'm not saying it could be bad, it's just an older egg. And because it's an older egg, it's not as fresh as these eggs down here. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up so it doesn't lose any of the heat. We are at zero time and we're still at 130 degrees. We're going to knock off some of the condensation on this lid. Remove that. We're going to go ahead and take out our eggs. Got some chilled water here to put the eggs into just to cool them off. Now if this water is a little bit too hot, which is kind of on the warm side, then we can go ahead and go ahead and turn this off. And we can go ahead and remove some of this hot water here and add some ice cubes just to kind of cool things down so it doesn't burn your hands. Take the eggs out here and cool them down so we can put them back into the fridge. I guess you could use tongs to take these out but we don't want to crack the eggs. You can see that these eggs are, they're pasteurized and they're still like a regular egg. You can use them for cooking for, or anything else, but these eggs are now safe, they're pasteurized, and they're still runny like a normal egg. And these are perfectly safe now.
And now that these are cooled down, I'm just going to put them on a towel and let them dry out a little bit. And then put them back in the carton. And I'm going to go ahead and mark these with a P to let me know that these have been pasteurized. So there I go. I got two dozen pasteurized eggs ready for my requirements. This is just one of many methods that you can use to pasteurize eggs. I just happen to have a sous vide and this is just easiest for me. Just remember 130 degrees for 45 minutes. If you get too hot, if you start getting up above 140 degrees, then you end up cooking the eggs rather than pasteurizing them. You can also do this on a stove top, but maintaining 130 degrees for 45 minutes on a, a burner, that can be kind of difficult. But like I said, check out the internet, check out YouTube. There are other videos out there. But anyway, I hope you learned something. I'd like to thank you for your time. And as always, please subscribe, and I will send you another video soon.